Frustrated small-scale fishers took to the streets of Langaban in an attempt to get authorities to protect not only their livelihoods, but their heritage as well. Our CTV news team took a drive up the west coast and filed this report. Langaban, a picturesque small town an hour's drive out of Cape Town. Its postcard perfect shores and lagoons scattered with quaint fishing boats has earned this village its title, the jewel of the west coast. The Langabang Lagoon is a biologically valuable area and acts as a refuge for marine species which are not found anywhere else in the west coast. Because of this, the lagoon is divided into three zones, controlled, restricted and sanctuary. Zone A is a multifunctional section for fishing and sports. Zone B is reserved for sailboats and board sailing. Fishing and power boats are forbidden here. Zone C is a wilderness area and is closed to the public. The unspoiled shorelines make memorable holidays, but for the residents of Langaban, whose livelihoods are sustained by these waters, what remains when tourists and holiday makers leave? These are the West Coast Fishers, formalized as the organization Coastal Links. On this day, Friday the 19th of October 2012, they have had enough. They march in protest through the streets of Langaban to the Sand Park's office for their fishing rights to Zone B. The manager of Sandpox accepted the memorandum, which among the requests for access to Zone B included for permits to be dropped or minimized, for more species to be added to their permits and to be allowed to take rare bait from the lagoon. I always say that um, the relationship between your, your sounds and our sounds is very important. Um, Sandpox takes this relationship, this kind of relationship with stakeholders, with communities very seriously. I do too. We want to work together with you. We understand that your concerns are legitimate. We take that very seriously and we'd like to assist you guys to make sure that we're all happy with, with, with you know, the fishing and all of that. Because we understand it is a livelihood to you guys and we take that very seriously. So just understand that. Yesterday Sandpox met with Coastal Links and asked him to highlight the main issues in the memorandum. They have arranged a joint meeting with the Department of Agricultural, Forestry and Fishery for the 2nd of November 2012, a first Thank for you. these fishers. Although the zone is a marine protective area, Sandbox is willing to engage with the fishing community to discuss possible alternatives. Friday's protest is a milestone for these small-scale fishers, but the question whether they will regain rights to this historical fishing ground remains unanswered. And the owner can't see any work in the zone. I can't see any work in the zone. I can't see any work in the zone. I can't see any work in the zone. And I can't see any work in the zone. 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 Ilva Mackay for Cape Town TV News, Langebaan. So uh...